I've been in law enforcement 37 years. In the old days, you're a patrol deputy, and you're out there patrolling and responding to calls, and uh, you see kids that are, you know, maybe they're abused, maybe they're neglected, or maybe they have parents that are in the criminal justice system, or even worse, in jail, in prison, and really without, without a voice, um, without an advocate. And, and if you're a patrol guy working the street, you, you don't, you know, that's concerning, but ultimately you're gonna move on to the next call and the next call, and you really don't understand or know what happens to these children down the road. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. The vision of Advocate for Children's CASA is that all children will dream, thrive, and grow with a sense of belonging and empowerment to build a successful future. It's difficult to talk about abuse and neglect. Um, it, it happens everywhere. It happens in every community, in almost, in, in almost every neighborhood. Advocates for Children CASA serve children from the 18th Judicial District, which includes Arapaho, Douglas, Albert, and Lincoln Counties. We see foster kids coming from those four counties in all walks of life, in all socioeconomic levels, all different ethnicities, all different family structures. What I can tell you is that there's no definition of a foster kid. A foster kid could be any kid. This just happens to be a circumstance that these children go through they didn't ask for. Um, they're products of an unfortunate environment and we hope to help uh, provide resources for these families to help overcome those difficulties. For people who really do want to give back to their community to have an organization that trains them, supports them, um, and, and really gives them entree into the lives of people who need them is an incredible opportunity for volunteers. We're a unique organization because we are only able to reach as many kids as we do because of a community partnership. It costs approximately $1,300 to support one CASA volunteer for one year. In 2017, our CASA volunteers saved taxpayers $1.4 million. In the value of hours donated, miles driven, and out-of-pocket expenses paid. In order to best align our volunteers and match them with the different cases. I needed something visual so that I could see where our kids were and where our volunteers were. And so we created a map so that we could have laid out clearly and easily where the needs in our communities were. So our main map shows Denver and Aurora, and then we've expanded it recently to show as far north as Thornton, Golden, Lakewood, and Arvada, down to Castle Rock in Colorado Springs and out toward Elizabeth. The blue markers on the map indicate where a CASA volunteer lives, and the white markers indicate where a child in need of a CASA volunteer lives. Each case has an average of two children on it, but we have many cases that have three, four, five, even six children on it. The strings on the map show when sibling groups from the same case are placed in different homes. I see it every time I sit down at my desk and it drives home for me the work that we're doing and how important it is to find these volunteers that can work with the kids. There are so many children in our community that need a voice, that need that advocate there with them. And so seeing that there every single day reminds me that there's more that we need to do to help the children in our community. The 18th Judicial District is the most populated judicial district in the state of Colorado. The needs surrounding kids that are uh, neglected and abused has grown. There is still about a thousand more children in the 18th Judicial District who are waiting for a CASA volunteer. We need more than 300 more advocates to serve every kid in need in our district. There are people out there that want to volunteer their time, that take their time, to really trying to take somebody under their wing and try to really, like I said, at the end of the day, let's have an impact on some people's lives, a good impact on people's lives. Let's try to get them back to where they need to be or, or try to get them in a great direction.